G'day guys, welcome to my let's play of Transformers Fall Cybertron. This game's by High Moon Studios. They did a previous Transformers game before this called, I think it was War of Cybertron. They also did a Dead, the Deadpool game. Uh, pretty good developer. They do tend to do these small, slightly B grade titles. Uh, this is an old game, it came out in 2012. I'm choosing to do a let's play of it because I just saw it on the PSN. I played it previously on PC years ago when it first came out, loved it. And it's just come out on the PlayStation, well I've noticed it on sale with the PlayStation Store, so I'm going to pick it up and replay it since I haven't, can barely remember anything about it but a few of the highlight sections of it. Um, yeah, so let's go. It's probably my favourite Transformers game, which isn't so much because there's not very many good Transformers games other than maybe the one I played on the 64 as a kid. Um, this isn't based on the crappy movies. I'm a kid of the 80s. I love the cartoon more than any Transformers property that's come after it, and so it's based on that time period. This IP, Gen 1. Hard and let's go. Overwrite the test one I started. We and have the... no choice, Bumblebee. War is lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been a long, painful war with the Decepticons. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our best and last hope, my friend. I wonder what it could be. We're approaching the portal. That indicates it's growing more unstable. At this rate, it may close before we even get there. Megatron. Direct our fire on those tow cables. All hands to combat. Bumblebee, you with us? Optimus, he's coming around. Thank the Maker. He's been through worse. Voice chip is still crushed. Nothing new there. Base energon levels are almost normal. Overshields are charging up. I need to test your retinal scanners. Follow the light. That's it. On target. Looking good. How are your optics? Good. Pretty good. Arms out! Weapons to the deck! Don't fire! I'm a medic! Slap a muffler on it! Take them out, Bumblebee! That's my optics! Oops, no mind. Here, grab this ammo clip. More Decepticons are trying to board. Don't forget to reload. Decepticons are boarding a ship! Defend the bridge! Hold this game of awareness to uh, 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 low. I tried to. Uh, this once already. I think like the first five minutes gonna check this out. This game is super loud at the default point. I could not hear myself. So, trying it again. That's showing them! Like a trap won't give up that easily. Teletrap, full damage analysis and all that. Firewall breach, unauthorized access. Your precious Ark will never reach that portal, Optimus. Shield failure on starboard thruster. I will tear your ship apart, piece by piece! Optimus, the Decepticons are swarming the engine deck! I'm on my way. Bumblebee, stay and cover the bridge. The entire defense network is down. Without the pulse cannons, Optimus won't stand a chance. You'll have to reboot the system manually. 
Take this news from Teletrack. It should reactivate the service. This is the last game of the game, but it still looks fairly good, I reckon. Good luck, I'll just do the art design. We'll take point. I love those Gen 1 designs. You alright? Can you make it over? You probably notice that they don't look exactly the same as the um, cartoon versions of the characters because they're still on Cybertron, so they have yet to see patched into your optics. The service lift is just ahead. We've got to get out of here! Slow. Side to side is fine. That is slow. Hang on, let's just check that out real quick. Hmm. I think there's you got camera sensitivity, but not aiming sensitivity. Hmm, oh well. Just gonna deal with it. Those flames will bubble your paint if you don't haul acids. Sprint through! That Energon will call your chassis. In here, Bumblebee! I can use a hand! One of the main improvements that they made between uh, Warp Cybertron and Fall Cybertron is the shooting looks way better in this. Like, these guns in war, they didn't feel like you were actually firing anything, it felt like you were firing a nerf gun or something. I don't know what they did to change it, but the weapons just feel a lot beefier. That's the only way I can really describe it. Almost satisfying. Now, your pulse rifle could melt that whole panel. Think you can rush him from there.
Stand a chance without it. Yeah? What do you think the odds are now? Over here, Bumblebee! Fresh supplies! Now you're ready to blast some cons straight back to Cybertron. Through here, Bumblebee. You wanna be tip of the spear? We're right behind you. Just the tip. Everything in the first one, uh, but I, the Transformers all felt a little bit same. You switch between them as you play, you might split up each video in the section through each Transformer. Um, but they all felt same in the first one. In the second one, they all feel quite unique and similar to each. I guess that's the end of part one. I'll see you guys in chapter two.